九位成功嘅華裔創業家喺今屆創業協進會舉辦嘅傑出華裔創業家頒獎典禮上獲得殊榮。我哋今日先嚟認識一下今年終身成就獎嘅得主建築師 Bridge s h i m 佢同同樣都係建築師嘅丈夫，致力於將自然同埋建築融合，探索居住空間嘅可能性，飛升國際。三十年嚟一直係耕耘喺教學前線，培育下一代建築人才。有記者田搞林同大家講下。b i d g e 嘅父母都係出生喺牙買加嘅二代華裔移民，六十年代秉持住客家人嘅探索精神，成為當地第三個移居本國多倫多嘅華裔家庭。開放樂觀嘅個性，讓佢哋迅速融入社會，仲帶住子女走遍加拿大嘅國家公園。喺年幼嘅 b i d g e 心中種下咗崇尚自然嘅種子。They really wanted to discover this amazing, huge country. It's enormous. And really appreciate the very distinct natural landscapes that it has. And for me, as an architect, I would say it was a very profound experience because、uh, it really shaped the way I think about the relationship between built form and landscape. 成年后嘅 Bridget 喺安省滑铁卢大学修读环境同埋建筑，并且喺嗰度认识咗自己嘅终身伴侣。两人携手创办建筑事务所，设计出无数经典案例。包括喺一九九三年开城市先河，通过向省级法院争取喺多伦多嘅后巷打造居住空间。Architecture speaks about what our society values, and it's actually realized in built form. And I feel that it has a really key role to play in defining who we are and what matters to us. 夫妇二人对城市空间嘅探索，为解决土地供应不足提供咗参考。多倫多市政府最終喺二零一八年修改附例，鼓勵發展後巷屋。除此之外 ，Bridge 仲擅長因地制宜，將建築同環境融為一體，享譽國際，令佢獲頒加拿大分章等多個獎項。而喺設計之餘 ，Bridge 亦都喺多倫多大學任教超過三十載，傳遞解決問題嘅數理能力，以及作為建築師所必須嘅人民關懷。I work really hard with my students because they will be the leaders of the next generation. We are at a stage in、uh, human history where、uh, the, the issue of climate change really demands that we really rethink how we build, and we have to build better, smarter, stronger、uh, <coughs> to kind of、uh, really address these very complicated problems. 佢哋幾十年嚟喺建築同教育上嘅成就，令佢當之無愧榮獲本屆創業協進會傑出華裔創業家終身成就獎。佢表示期望將建築嘅魅力繼續傳承落去。